Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley Modded. It's been a while, but I really hope you enjoy. I kind of took a break um, from YouTube. I was kind of struggling to balance full-time a job, doing YouTube, doing my other things like TikTok and Instagram, like my Discord server. I was finding it a little bit difficult to like balance everything. So I kind of took a little break. Um, didn't actually mean to take a break, just like kind of had a step away, like didn't really have the time to like do any recording or anything. But there's been a lot of change now. I was working a lot on my TikTok, on my Instagram content, on my Discord server. We've actually had a couple of games nights for different games. So if you want to check any of that out, it'll be in the description. But now I've got my setup sorted. I've actually got a temporary desk. It feels like I can finally get back to recording, get back to making YouTube videos because I really actually missed it. So I thought, okay, let's get into it. Let's get back at it and we'll take it from there really. I also have no idea where I left off. I see I've got some crops ready to go. So, uh, ah, we had the strawberry festival and got the strawberries. I'll have to double check what I've donated and what I haven't donated yet. Otherwise I'll end up selling stuff that I've already actually donated, which isn't ideal. So we've donated our potato, we've donated cauliflower, so theoretically um, I should be able to just sell these then. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm waiting for fish and five to sell fish, which is fine. I've got farming three, mining two, foraging two, and combat two. That's okay. And I'm friends with Robin and Caroline. Nice. I don't know how I actually have gotten... I need to build the cup. I don't know if I've gotten Jody's cauliflower mission, so I'm just gonna save the cauliflower. Um, I need to get one more gold parsnip by the looks of it for the community center which is fine that's gonna make us quite a bit of money probably should buy some seeds for the empty spots as well i've got two thousand so i should have a new but how is everyone since i have been gone i hope you are all doing good i can't believe it's july already the year is absolutely flying in okay so we have watered We've actually got a decent amount of coal though. Hmm. Unlike wood and stuff. Okay, let's go buy seeds. Oh, seven berries. Okay, yeah, we definitely want these. Nope, don't eat it. Take out of my hand. And I also see some worms. Wow. Very exciting. I've definitely missed playing um, Stardew a little bit more regularly. Plenty should be good. Six days. Yeah, we're still okay. I panicked there and thought, oh my god, I've just bought seeds. And they're not even gonna have enough time to... grow. Wow, that took a long time for me to think of that. Check the dumpsters. Oh, dumpster cookies, let's go. Oh, it feels good to get back to it. It feels good to get back to the save and recording and I'm feeling very productive with my kind of content creating and recording YouTube videos and stuff so I'm very very excited to get back to everything. I've actually like um, created a little like planner for myself um, that sits on my desk. It's like a little blue planner with like daisies on it and I have on each day I like write myself like a little to-do list of things that I want to do. So. I mean, not even like things that I want to do, it's just things that I want to achieve, like it's a little bit more like productive, like, okay, do my Instagram post, do my TikTok post, do my Instagram reel, and then like, do I have anything else I need to do? So like today I want to do my recording, so like I'll write that down, and then yesterday like I was doing Photoshop for Instagram, so it's kind of nice to kind of set myself those boundaries and set myself the kind of the goals, because it makes me feel like I'm actually getting something done. I work well to a list. I like, you know, feeling accomplished and feel like I've done something. But if I kind of like set myself each day, okay, you're going to have these three normal tasks and then this like extra one every day. Instead of saying, oh, I'll try and get everything done in one day. It works out a lot better. At least we've got plenty of summon braids for energy if we need. So how far did we get down? Okay, so we got to the ice levels. Let's see how far we can make it down today. 
Because it was, we did get good luck, didn't we? It was like pyramid luck. Wow, we're getting lucky with geodes. Oh my. Um, I do want to check out the rest of the floor, and there is also already a lot of there, apparently. We are going to need to upgrade our axe, oh my goodness. Like, that's what we were we were possibly doing last time, is upgrading our um, pickaxe enough to come down here and not have to strike a rock five times. Oh, is that one that we didn't have? <gasps> it was! Oh, nice! Those are normally actually the harder ones to get. The dwarf scrolls. Uh-oh. That's not ideal. We're just gonna skip. I don't have the best. Uh, okay. Oh, a coffee bean. We could pull on that. I've actually never grown coffee in um, Stardew. I know a lot of people do it like to make the coffees to make you faster. And like, it's a good idea to do that. I just like have never done it. Never really like thought about like needing to like speed around but there are times where I'm like oh I could have just made that if I had like a few more seconds and obviously it's possible to get a few more seconds if you have coffee. So that is a nice little find. Oh my god we've got full inventory already. What do we have that we could throw out? Um, I mean I know we do we've got loads of sap. Surely we have loaded this up. Right, okay, we've got our ladder. So we're guaranteed to make it down to five, which is nice. Not five, level 50. We made it down 10 though. And we didn't even like come here early. We don't normally have that good a luck, even on like the pyramid luck day, so that's quite nice. Let's collect some ore now. Um, and I can change my boots. I do want to sell these bits though. Ah, crap. What do I have? I mean stone. I can get loads of stone. Well, actually, what I've started playing as well, um, which is actually quite a nice refreshing change, has been Elden Ring. So, obviously, like, my YouTube, like, my Instagram, my TikTok, like, everything is, like, advertised as, like, cozy gaming. Let's tell you one, okay? Probably get that checked out. It's, like, all cozy gaming. And then, like, I've been seeing, like, a lot of Elden Ring, and I like different games that aren't just cozy as well. Like, I play Destiny 2, which I absolutely love. So I was, like... Oh, um, like Elden Ring looks really good, like I have an Xbox, like me and, my, me and my boyfriend were really interested in it. And then one day it was on sale and we were like, you know what, we'll just get it. And I've been absolutely loving it ever since, like it is a really good game. It is really difficult, it's really difficult and it definitely challenges you. But when you like, you know, defeat the boss or defeat a camp or whatever you're doing, once you like actually achieve that it is so re like it feels so rewarding like it really does feel really nice to like just think I, I actually did that okay so let's sort my inventory I need to take that to the blacksmith I need to take that to Gunther I need to take this to Gunther um plant in spring or summer oh I could pop the coffee bean now then along with the potatoes but yeah, like it's just been like a nice refreshing change to play something that's like, I suppose, not deemed a cozy game. I've also been playing a lot of cozy games though, don't get me wrong. I've been playing a hell of a lot of cozy games. So I've got anything to do with seeds or anything goes in here. I'm waiting for tea saplings for that. I suppose I could leave that in there for now because I don't think I need it on me. That's I need to sell, so I need to keep on me. I'm selling that. That's for Gunther. That's to donate. And that's just. I probably need one of those for the community center. So I can put donating down here. And then these ones are for Gunther, and that's for the blacksmith. And then I want to sell these. So. Slap them there. I suppose. 
yeah, I've been playing loads of cozy games, so there is no fear on me not playing cozy games. I've been playing Sunhaven, I've been playing Animal Crossing. Um, I mean, I don't know if Breath of the Wild would be classified as a cozy game. Like, it's kind of an intense game wrapped up in, like, a cozy aesthetic, I suppose. I've been playing Breath of the Wild. Um, what else have I been playing? Oh, Monster Hunter Stories 2. I kind of, I document a lot of what I'm playing on my Instagram and TikTok, so if you want to see kind of more behind the scenes of, you know, what I'm playing, because I might not always um, do recordings or anything for the games that I'm playing, feel free to follow me on my TikTok and Instagram that's linked. Um, if you want to join the Discord, um, oh, level 3 farming, nice. Another three mining, even better. So if you want to join the Discord to join Cozy Gamers and Creators, um, the link will be in the description as well. We have games nights. I'm going to be planning movie nights and stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, oh wow. Ghost Star Cauliflowers really do sell for a lot, but of course potatoes are better because they can grow quicker. Um, so it's better to actually have those be the ones that you grow. And salmon berries don't sell for much, but I always just sell them anyway. I kind of get into a bad habit of not really keeping much for the mines, like food-wise. But, oh well. What can you do? Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.